Do you want amazing performance, a lot of space for your files at a low price? It's hard to combine all of these things together, but we can do it with ZFS. In this video, I will show you how to install Ubuntu with ZFS on a dedicated server from Hetzner. Log in into your Hetzner account, choose Rescue Mode, activate it and then restart your server. Now, if you connect via SSH, you will see Rescue Mode from which we can install Ubuntu. But wait, wait, you cannot do it official way. You need to create a ZFS pool before installing operating system. I found a script which does exactly that, but it will do only a mirrored array, just like RAID 1. So in my case, with 10 10 terabytes drives, I'll end up with 50 terabytes usable space. If you want to have RAID Z1 or RAID Z2, so 90 or 80 terabytes usable space, you can modify one line of this script. So we can continue, but first, before you do anything, create screen. Screen will make sure that installation will proceed, even if you disconnect from SSH or there will be some networking problems. And after you reconnect, you can easily go back and see what installer is doing. I will run my own modified version that will make a RAID Z2 array because I want 80 terabytes usable space on my server. Now we need to specify which disks are we going to use. And in my case, I want to use all of them, so I chose all of them. In the next step, an installer asks you how much swap do you need and I will create just 8 GB swap file. You can always change it later, so don't worry about that. Now we can specify if we want to use these disks to maximum and let's stop for a minute. Why would you want to leave some space unused? If you will get 10 terabytes from Seagate and 10 terabytes from Toshiba, they will not have same exact numbers of bytes. They will be a little bit different. If we leave some space unused, we will have this wiggle room if replacement disk will be from different vendor or different series from the same vendor. So it is recommended to leave 8 megabytes of space in that case. Back to installer. Now you can specify custom name of pool, tweaks, and even encryption. I didn't touch any of that. I just skipped these questions and I only changed arc cache size to default value, which is 50% of installed RAM. This server has 128 gigabytes of RAM, so arc cache size will be 64 gigabytes. After that, you need to specify your root password, but this installer will also import SSH keys from your Hetzner account, same keys that you used for rescue mode, so after installing, you can just use these keys right away. Okay, so now installer is doing its job and we need to wait around 15 minutes. After script is done with all it needs to do, server will just reboot and it's done. You have Ubuntu installed on ZFS. That was pretty easy, right? Now be ready to be amazed how well the server with only hard drives performs. First, let's take a look at yet another benchmark script. That's quite an improvement. What about more real world usage, such as compilation? Yeah. Pretty nice difference, right? In next video, I will compare RAID 6 on XT4 with RAID Z2 on ZFS and also another dedicated server, Hetzner X41, which has RAID 1 NVMe drives. And you will be very surprised how well ZFS on hard drives performs compared to RAID 1 NVMe. Subscribe to not miss out. That's all for today. Have a nice day.